Hi everybody, I'm here at the Isaac Walton League, the Bush Lake Chapter, and it's time for Nature Drawing with Nancy. So grab your pencils and your markers and coloring utensils if you want, and of course paper, and we'll see you inside. Hi everybody, I'm going to teach you today one of my favorite characters to draw, or animals to draw I should say, is a squirrel. Now a lot of people hear the word squirrel and they think, oh that's a big pest. But actually a squirrel is really important to the environment. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that later, but let's draw him first. So remember to grab your pencil for your guide, your marker, and some awesome white paper. Scrap paper is fine too. Now we're going to draw a squirrel. And remember our pencil is our guide, our pencil lines. So do an oval shape here for the head. Kind of a round, puffy shape here. I'm going to draw a squirrel that got a little, you know, that was puffed up and, and bulked up for winter. So these are our guides. Now you can transfer over. And I want you, I want to use the other one. I want you to draw down part of that oval. Okay, now we're going to draw the big ears. Well, they're not that huge. They're little squirrel ears, but they, for their body, they look kind of big because they're, they need to be able to hear. I want you to follow all the way down. And we're not going to do the tail quite yet, but we're going to draw the outline for it. Okay, so that's, we're going to leave that for now. Now, squirrels have eyes on the side of their head too so they can see predators coming. A squirrel has a V-shaped nose and a little mouth. We're going to come down like that. Okay, let's add some whiskers on him. Now for his back leg, you're going to start with a curve like that. And his little feet coming out. And it seems like every time you see a squirrel, they got their little arms out front. So we're going to draw them just like that. He's cute. And then connect down. And you would be able to see part of the back leg, so we want to show that. Now comes the fun part, the tail. Love drawing squirrel tails. They're puffy. And I am covering a gray squirrel here, but you know what? You could also color it in red and make it a little bit smaller, and it could be a red squirrel too. Um, I didn't draw a flying squirrel, but boy, if you look on, um, online on some of the um, resources for drawing and for nature drawing, you can see some flying squirrels there. So here's a squirrel, and then by the way, you may want to draw some... One of my favorite things to draw that a squirrel loves is an acorn. And acorns, in my imagination, always seem to kind of come alive. Looks like he's wearing a little cap. And here he is smiling. And if you're in the mood, you could put some arms in and it could be a dancing acorn. Okay, now some important conservation tips about squirrels is squirrels nest in hollow trees in, or holes in trees. So ask your families not to cut down or prune trees from mid-March to mid-September when squirrels, birds, and other wildlife are nesting. Cutting and pruning trees in the winter is also a lot better for trees. And so we don't want to do it other than winter time. If you have a tree in, with a hole in it, and even if it's dead and it's not a hazard and going to fall on the house or something, keep it as is because it makes a wonderful um, home for many species. Tiny pollinators to owls, bar barred owls, and raccoons need these trees to survive. So when you see a big old tree, think about it as that um, it's kind of like a natural apartment complex for animals. 
and we want them to have a safe place to be. Also, um, squirrels, why do we need them? Well, they help trees grow because they bury the acorns and other nuts. They bury them, and yes, sometimes they forget about them, and those nuts will grow into trees. So thanks for joining me and learning about squirrels with me, and I'll see you next time. See you later. Mm -hmm.